Hi, in this tutorial I'll start discussing the Align and Distribute Objects tool, Shift Control A keyboard shortcut, and uh, we have a lot of options here in this tool and some of them can take uh, quite some time to figure out exactly what they do, so I hope this tutorial helps. Now the first option here, Relative to. Now when we are aligning objects, we are aligning them relatively to something. And this something can be the last selected objects, first selected, biggest, smallest page drawing selection. And wherever we select here becomes our anchor. And uh, we are aligning relatively to that anchor. So if I start selecting objects here, I'll select this one. Then holding the shift key, I'll select this one. Then the next one. And the last selected object will be this green object here. And now this object becomes uh, becomes our anchor and these objects will be relative to that object here and if we use this option align right edges of the objects to the left edge of the anchor so we're going to align the right edges of these three objects to the left edge of this object the anchor because this is the last selected object so if i click here you see how this works. Control Z to undo that. And let's say I select this one, this one, and then this is the last object I select. All these objects, left, uh, right edges will uh, go here on the left edge of this object because this is our anchor. Let's see how this works. You see. Now in some of the options here, the anchor is indicated by this... Uh, yellow orange square here in some of the option it is not like this one center on vertical axis but we are still going to center on vertical axis the objects relative to the anchor which is in this case is the last selected so if i select these again and this one and click here you see they align to this object which was the last selected which is the anchor so even we have, uh, if we don't have it indicated here, we still have an anchor, we still have an object that we need to be relative to. We can also decide to be relative to the first selected object. So if I click here to select this and then with the shift key select these, you see that this becomes my anchor and do that. We can also decide uh, to select the biggest object and uh, this option can be a little tricky because on first look, we might think that this is our biggest object, but it's not. The biggest object is the yellow one because it's got the biggest width. So Inkscape doesn't look uh, this object uh, as the biggest because it has uh, the most volume, but the width is important. So if I control A to select all these objects, and click this option, you'll see that we are aligning to this object. Let's undo that. Now the next option is the smallest object, which in this case I think is this one. Let's see that. Control A. And you see, yes, they align to this object because this object has the smallest width. Now, page, let me zoom out here select all these objects and click here and you see they align to the left edge of the page here let's undo that zoom in next option drawing now i'm going to drag some guides here to show you the edges of our drawing so these are the edges of the drawing so where the objects end the last object that we have here ends these are the edges of the drawing so right now the left edge is here the right is here top here and bottom here so if I control a to select the all the objects here and click on this option all their uh, right edges will go here let's see that let's undo this now the next option is selection. So basically 
if I just select here, select this object, shift select this one. So these two objects should go on the left here because this is the edge of the selection, the left edge of the selection. And both these objects, uh, excuse me, right edges will go here. So let's see that. You see how that works. So that's all for these relative two options here. And in the next part, I'll continue with other options in this tool. Bye for now.